<laughs> Are you, you singing my voice together? Yeah. Yes, we're at the Armory. Um, I'm not quite over yet, but I'm trying to get there. <laughs> we're at the Art Fair because I do need an income, and if I'm not getting commission or don't have a sponsor to sponsor a performance, I have to figure out ways to sell something. And so an Art Fair is, is, is good for that purpose. Basically, we're gonna walk around and check out some work, and we'll probably be saying hello to some friends, because I realize the more I've been in New York, the more people I know. What's up? How are you? How are you nice doing? Pretty see good. You. Good to see you. Good to see you. Can I get a glass of white wine? Or this Thelma Golden. Hold on, let, let me go say hi to her. Oh, Thelma. I just want to say hello. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. Caleb, how are you? I'm pretty good. Yes. Good for you. Thank you. So, everything's going well? Every, it's, 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 it's happening. I'm oh. learning. So that, that was Thelma Golden. I don't know, is, is, it, is it proper etiquette to drink on camera? Yes. <laughs> okay. <our show>? okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> a lot of artists feel uncomfortable with their work being shown in this context. But I mean, it is necessary in terms of like income and also to figure out what people are doing and what artists are working on in the art world. So this is Canada. We, um, one of my friends, KB, is an artist. These are her rugs. I mean, I like stuff with like a lot of texture. Like I was drawn to that head over there. So it's a nice piece. You know, sort of like the low fineness. Even when I'm making music, like, I like to feel like, hear the texture and I don't like it so slick. My booth is the Burrito Gallery. So hi guys, how you doing? <laughs> Good to see you again. <laughs> so my work is over here. I'm working on a series with James Franco. They're all sitting around music. And this one is called, Oh No, Not This Song or Road Again. Like, you know, they play the same songs over and over on the radio. These are more like exercises. <laughs> Feel free to purchase. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, the Goodman Gallery wants to have dinner with me um, on Monday. Uh, oh, in Johannesburg? Yeah, in Johannesburg. So. Oh, so here's my other galleries. So this is my Canadian gallery. Hi. Parisian Laundry. <laughs> I first saw his work here at Armory. That was probably five years ago now? Probably, probably the lollipop. And it was a lollipop okay. small video and it was, you could just tell that there was something to buzz about it. I connected with Caleb through Facebook and we started just going back and forth and I was all sort of, you're awesome, I love it, I, I find it so original. Oh, go away, Willie. Oh, give me a little of that, honey. Oh, no, keep your old nasty hands off it. It's pretty spectacular. Thank you. You're welcome. You deserve it, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Katanya? Speaking. Hello. I'm Shaliva Short calling from Madame Gallery. Hi. Hi. Um, so I've been looking at some images and was wondering if I could do a studio visit. For real? So when I moved to New York, I would just go by their space just because I knew them. And so I would just hang out and like drink sometimes. And so it was just like, we'll give you a project and see how it goes. So that's how it happens with them. And then I got a review in the New York Times. But I was still broke. The videos wasn't selling. I was having to go be this art star and didn't have any money. I'm like, what is it? where's the star? Like, what is this about? It wasn't all what it was cracked up to be. It's still not. Over the years, I've shown with four galleries, and I don't have a contract with anyone, like a signed contract. 
it's like I can leave anytime I want or they can drop me anytime they want. So it's a different um, position. You'd know how hard I tried. I prayed, tired. I worked, I, I am slayed. so tired. Why I can't is this believe happening? I blew it. What lessons are you trying to teach me? I'm tired. <laughs> When you start to talk to other artists, you realize every experience is an individual experience. I'm just a stranger Traveling on the road It used to be where I was like really worried and stressed out about sales and that type of thing. But now I realize I'm, I'm probably gonna take my debt to my grave. And not to just miss it, but it used to be like this urge, like, oh my gosh, this stuff has to sell. But it doesn't have to. You know what I mean? It should just be about the process of making it work and what you get out of that, and which I've always focused on. It used to be so depressing to see like other people making all this money. But it also gives you hope that one day, as time goes on, that my work will have a, a, a certain value. Like, I think some stuff did sell. But, but it's, it was just like, okay, that's great. And if it didn't, then just do something else. Yeah. Like go do a lecture. That's why I work on Sunday. Oh, sure. Yeah. And it's similar to what You were looking at your okay. shoes. Okay. At my <laughs> shoes? Yeah. Okay. All right, one more. And one, two, three. Better? I hope that's good. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you.